Hey guys, welcome to this week's episode of the Cyclone Scuttlebutt. I'm Tommy, this is Randy. Today we're getting you ready for some Iowa State football and basketball. But before we get to basketball, let's talk Iowa State football. Randy, Iowa State heads to Texas Tech and this should be a big football game for Iowa State if it wants to get into the postseason. It's a huge football game for Iowa State if it wants to get into the postseason because Texas Tech is certainly vulnerable. Um, Iowa State's playing good football right now, and Texas Tech is coming off a West Virginia game in which it gave up the last 29 points. Statistically, they're very close. So um, if Iowa State's playmakers can continue to play like we've seen them play the last couple of weeks, Iowa State should win. Now let's jump into Iowa State football. Iowa State had media day on Tuesday. There were still a lot of moving parts when it comes to this Iowa State team. So many young faces, so many fresh faces, uh, a few familiar faces, but a lot of question marks when it comes to the Cyclones. For, uh, for Iowa State basketball to be, what's, to be in the conversation for a seventh straight NCAA tournament, the newcomers are going to have to play their tails off. I mean, they're going to have to be better than advertised. Donovan Jackson, who Steve Prohm interestingly called one of the best shooters, if not the best shooter in the country, yesterday during during media day, he's got to be great. Somehow Iowa State's got to find 80 points a game, which I don't I don't think they can do. But uh, um, we'll see. It's it's um, it's a transitional year for Iowa State. What did you think? I mean, I, I you know about. You know, what do you think the basketball team is going to be like? That's the thing. I don't think yeah. I, I have no idea. Yeah. I don't like a lot of people know, but it's going to be interesting to see, obviously, with Lindell Wigginton, all the hype and excitement around him. Mm -hmm. But it, to me, kind of the biggest takeaway is you have so many guys who were role players last year who now Steve Prohm is leaning on. Guys like Nick Weiler, Babb, and Tom and Jackson, they're going to be leaders. On Solomon this Young's going to, have exactly. to, going to have to step up to it. It'll be interesting to see Solomon Young. Uh, he'll play. I think he. I think we'll see more points out of him, which you know, it's going to have to. Um, so we'll see. As Tommy said, it's Saturday at Texas Tech. It's homecoming at Texas Tech, by the way, for whatever that's worth. 11 o'clock on Fox Sports FS1. So for the Des Moines Register and Des Moines Register.com, he's Tommy and I'm Randy.